In this video we're going to discuss the 3D printing of food and we will explore different kinds of printers and get a good idea of how this technology works and what it is used for. One of the applications is in food manufacturing. For example, this 3D printer was developed for Barilla to make innovative pasta shapes. It utilizes the 3D design along with ingredients such as semolina, flour and water to print layer by layer different shapes that can't be achieved by traditional methods. Then there is Fudini a food printer designed with the home cook in mind. By allowing you to mix the ingredients of your choosing, healthy and wholesome ingredients to make delicious and eye-catching dishes. The makers of Fudini are especially dedicated to make sure that their technology isn't used for junk food or fast food as we know it like pizzas and hamburgers. They want the home cook to be able to create delicious and hearty meals with their 3D printer. Then there is the fun pancake bot, which you can use to make fabulous 3D printed pancakes with designs that you would normally not be able to make on your own without the help of a 3D printer. You just design it on your computer and then transfer the memory to the 3D printer. And it's easy to clean up and you can use many, many different times with a simple pancake batter. It is very simple to use and even kids can design their own drawings and then see them printed and get to eat them as well. For more sophisticated food printing, there is a Bucosini, which prints everything from chocolate to sugar, meat and dairy, to all kinds of food products. The food comes conveniently packaged in easy to use cartridges that you simply insert into your printer and then create your design on your tablet and then let the printer do the work. This video is meant to give you an idea of what we can currently do with 3D printing of food. So we have seen a couple of 3D printers and how they work and these are some pictures of some of the intricate designs that some of these 3D printers can create. For our enjoyment, a lot of them are made of sugar, but researchers are finding more and more ways to print wholesome foods such as this one, which is an edible landscape that even grows mushrooms and herbs that you can pop into your mouth. And so 3D printing becomes something that can help feed the world and help alleviate malnutrition more than just technology for technologies. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Paula Cano and I am in the IT 104 class. This was the YouTube assignment.